Hi, Sean here from Lawn Right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to spray weed killer onto your lawn. We're going to be using Weed All as the weed killer of choice, not for any reason other than it had good reviews on Amazon, so I thought I'd give it a try on my own lawn. Now, there's two versions to this. There's the short version and there's the long, boring, but important version. The short version is this. All you need to do is measure your lawn and then you need to apply 15 mil of weed oil mixed in with a litre of water and that will cover 10 square metres. That is all you need to know. That is the short version of this video. So if it's a 10 square metre lawn, you put 15 mil in your knapsack sprayer with a litre of water, mix it together and walk across your lawn and spray it all on. And if there's any left, go back over your lawn a second time with the mixture until it has all gone. It's important that you get that amount of mixture down, 15 mil, because that will cover the 10 square meters. Now they recommend in one liter of water. So if there's any left, just keep going over your lawn. Like we say, the amount of water isn't quite as important as the amount of weed killer. If you're doing it in a watering can, you need to mix 15 mil of weed killer with five liters of water and just keep walking across the lawn and keep walking across the lawn multiple times until it's all used up so you've got it nice and even across the whole lawn that is all you need to know now there are a lot of things you need to think about when spraying weed killers you can spray and accidentally catch shrubs bushes plants and also fishes fish ponds water sources canals rivers you have to take extra special care with these. You really, really do. If you don't, there's a very good chance you're gonna kill the plants and there's a very good chance you will kill fish. Please consider watching the rest of the video. It is long and a little bit long-winded at times, but it's one of the most important videos I feel I've ever made. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, please enjoy the rest of this video. Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to apply Weed Oil Lawn Killer to your lawn using the Oregon Backpack Sprayer as safely as possible. Now I want to give a warning here. The warning is this. I am not responsible for your actions. I am not responsible for anything that goes wrong. What I am giving you is guidance only. You should consider undertaking qualifications if you wish to spray professionally, carefully and safely. What I will say is avoid windy days. As a professional, there are ways you can get around windy conditions to a degree. If you're doing it for yourself, you really should avoid windy days. A light breeze is fine, but avoid wind. Also, avoid spraying close to your plants and very, very strongly avoid spraying near to any water source. Fish in particular are very, very susceptible to any weed killer. The rules are something along the lines of one particle in a million particles of a weed killer solution in a fish pond is enough to kill all the fish. Basically, the, the minutest, smallest trace of weed killer that you spray, if it goes into a fish pond, there is very strong chances that you will kill the fish outright. So that is a warning. In general, you want to keep around a meter away when the conditions are correct. As said, this is just guidance only. You must read the instructions yourself and follow the appropriate guidelines. I am not being responsible for anything which may go wrong, any plants you may kill, any fish you may kill. I have been treating lawns for 20 years, more than 20 years, and I have undertaken training, gained qualifications, and also 
been on refresher courses to keep my knowledge up to date. So please, please, please think about what you're doing. If you apply weed killer too strongly in one area, in other words, if you stand there and spray for a second or two, there's a strong chance you're gonna kill everything what you're spraying. If you are spraying close to borders, there is a very strong chance that an edge of your spray width, the width of the spray that comes out, you know the 1.2 meters, if that just catches a plant in the border, there's a strong chance you're gonna kill it. So you have to be really careful. If you're unsure, just keep well away. Personally, I tend to angle the spray so it points down a little bit when I am close to plants and I also leave maybe six inches around each of the plants but I'll always try and get as close as I can within my own capabilities. There's Betsy. So yeah we have weed all lawn weed killer. So most of your common weeds, dandelions, daisies, plantains, plantains, common mouse ears, white clovers, black medic, lesser trefoil. Trefoil is a very, very small, close to the ground, yellow flowered weed. Um, it will kill those. It kills weeds, not lawns. Okay. Always remember, any weed killer must say, won't kill lawns. If it doesn't say that, there's a chance you'll kill your lawn. So you need to be super careful. I know people that have purchased weed killers thinking it's a lawn weed killer and it's not and they've killed the entire lawn and we know that because inside it contains glyphosate which is a product in, in uh, Roundup and other weed killers but these will have um, things like Mecaprop P, Dicamba um, let's have a look okay Okay, 10.7 grams per litre of fluoroxypa. Fluoroxypa is actually good for violets. It's pretty much the only chemical which will control violets, kind of. Uh, 5.4 grams a litre, clopyrrhalid, and 53.4 grams per litre, Meca Mecaprop P, A, as a micro emulsion formulation. So, caution, avoid spraying coming into contact with plants. After trip treatment, leave the clippings for the first mowing on the lawn. The next three mowings should be composted well for at least nine months before using as a mulch. But basically, when it's got weed killer in, you don't want to be putting it on your compost. Okay, so how to use. Shake well before use and use mixture immediately. Use in a watering can with a fine rose or a garden sprayer. So 15 millilitres into one litre of water okay um, we're in a sprayer or five liters of water if you're using a watering can and that will cover 10 square meters so what they're saying is in a sprayer a liter of mixture which will contain a liter of water and 15 milliliters of weed killer should apply and cover 10 square meters of lawn so 10 10, um, 10 square meters so 100 square meter lawn it's saying you're going to need 10 liters of water okay in 150 ml of weed killer direct away from ponds and other surface water bodies years ago I remember a story of a guy who had chemicals in his van and he had an accident on a bridge and the accident caused some of the chemicals to seep out of the van and actually go into the water below and he was fined thousands of pounds okay wash out the sprayer or watering can thoroughly before use right i'm spending time here on the label because you have to when as a professional you get to learn to thoroughly read labels 
and take in all the information. One treatment gives season long control of weeds. So interesting if that is the case. In my opinion, you can only control the weeds which are present at the time. For use only as an amateur treatment, read all instructions, keep children and pets away until dry to avoid drift, i.e. when it's windy, don't spray in windy conditions. Maximum dose, 15 mil per 10 square meters. Maximum treatments, one per year. You should follow this advice. So, use on leafy weeds April to September when they're small and actively growing. For best results, don't mow for three days before or after. Avoid spraying in drought or frost. Don't spray in windy conditions. New lawns, spread in the tring at least two months after sowing or laying turf. And it must be growing well. This is why we always say, don't worry about any weeds when you've just seeded. Give it a couple of months to start getting established. So keep off of skin, wash off splashes, don't breathe the spray, wash your hands and expose skin after use. Don't contaminate water, don't empty into drains. So it pays to make enough up just to cover your lawn. So what I will actually do is I will make enough to cover the 50 square meters of lawn here into there. And what should happen at walking pace, if we've done it correct, is we should run out of mixture by the time we're finished spraying the lawn. But to do that, we need to know our own flow rates. And this is where things start to get a bit more technical. I don't want to take you too far down that route because it, it's going through the qualifications of getting your pesticide qualifications. Suffice to say, follow the instructions and go at a walking pace. Don't make up too much. Make up what you think is enough to cover the area that you've got. And yeah, you need to know the area that you've got. I know this is around 50 square meters. So don't eat, drink or smoke. Keep out reach children. I will also say grazing animals. We are talking rabbits and guinea pigs that eat the grass should be kept off of treated lawns for three mows until that blade of grass has grown out with the weed killer. Okay? If you don't feed them weeds and lawns and, and grass, then you're fine. Feed them their own food. So yeah. So we've had a good look at the label. And uh, let me get the bottle out here. Quite damp actually. So let me just get this out. So yeah, you could use a watering can if you want. But I've grown up with sprayers, so it's sprayers for me. I'll just show you again harmful harmful to aquatic life with long lasting effects all right i cannot stress that enough so full instructions are on the carton which we've read read in full which we've done keep all children and pets away until the spray has dried so betsy will be going in when we spray the lawn Okay, so, blah, 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 blah. so 15 mil is 10 square meters. Now I've got 50 square meters, which is five times that. So I want 75 mil of product. Okay. And I'm gonna go with five liters because one liter covers 10 square meters. So for me, 75 mil of product in five liters of water. So, you should put water in first. Now, 
normally if you fill in the whole tank you'd fill it up halfway but we're not we're just putting five liters in so use the handle all right watch your nozzles when you put them down put them down carefully because if they scratch the, the thing your spray pattern will be affected and it will come out with sections missing so always put them down carefully try and avoid the nozzle the red bit from scratching surfaces so we're going to put you on here okay we're going to get five liters in now you have the numbers here on the side We've got about a quarter of a litre when I was testing it with the setup. I'm going to fill it to there. Now, when you're putting chemicals in, you should really fill up and leave that in. But for years, I've always just took it off and filled it up and gone very carefully. If you get a splash and it goes in your eye, you've got a problem. Right, that's our five litres, because I'm doing 50 square metres. One litre, remember, will do uh, um, 10 square metres. So we're doing five times that. We want a maximum of 15 mil per litre, per 10 square metres. So I'll just go and get the weed on. So with the weed all, you have little measuring gauges on the side of the lid. Yeah. That's great. So some has actually come out of that. So make sure you wash your hands thoroughly or wear gloves. So we have measuring gauges and it goes up to, it's very hard to read actually, 50 mil. Actually it's hard to say. Yeah, 50 mil to the top line. I should have put my gloves on. Right, that's 50. And then we want 25. Which on the right hand side I can see is there. So, weed killer in, lid on, rinse, hands. Filter back in, lid on. Okay, that's fine. If I pop this, I'm going to quick rinse here. So, we have our solution now, 5 litres and 75 mil, it's 15 mil per litre per 10 square metres. Now you need to mix that together, but it doesn't need much, but what I tend to do is just hold the handle, just rock it backwards and forwards. 
and it doesn't need much at all 10 15 seconds when we use another product like iron you need to mix for longer if we're adding other products in like seaweed you need to mix for longer I'm not going to do that on this occasion what I'm going to do now I'm going to set the camera up and I'm going to spray the lawn and we're going to see how much liquid we've got left now I haven't used this nozzle with a weed killer before I normally use the flat fans and to me that five liters would be um, it would probably last looking at that around 200 square meters four times the amount okay with a flat fan so we're just gonna put it on go to walking pace and we'll have a look and see what's left Now when you're spraying, you don't want to be spraying the same area twice, so if you're brave enough, go by, try and figure out a metre at each time and walk up and down, and when you get near an obstacle, like the trees, just go around, don't get too close. Always be conscious of what the wind's doing, if it's blowing towards you, or if it's blowing behind you, or from one side, you need to get that into your body into your mind what the wind is doing and then you can be aware of where that spray could potentially go now I often use sticks just to help me guide me about a meter apart and I use them all the time however I personally am more than capable to just walk up and down and spray this without overlapping the previous spray too much so we're gonna go for go for it now and see how much we've got left I can't say I'm convinced that all of this will go um, on this one lawn, however it's all dependent on this nozzle, so we shall see. This other nozzle which has been provided is just like a cone. Remember to get up to pressure, that's firm now, you can't push it down, it's at full pressure. So as you're walking, you just keep pushing, nice and steady. You don't have to go like that, unless you're using iron and different nozzles. So let us see. So as I walk, I'm spraying, it's going to come out about half a metre either side. I'm looking with my eyes to see whereabouts on the right it's going if it's close to the border I don't want to be that close I want to just pull away a bit or I can tilt it a bit like that so it, the angle is tilted up but you don't want to do that too much because then you're putting a more concentrated amount down with that right hand piece you need to just go a touch faster if that's the case
We've got around one and a half litres left. The, the reason I've got some left in the sprayer is down to the nozzle. If you were using a watering can, which they're saying you can, and you put five litres in and 75 mil, and you just keep going over the lawn because you know that that 75 mil covers 50 square metres. So the amount of product is the right amount of product for 50 square metres. So the amount of weed killer I've got in here is the right amount for 50 square metres. Use the rest of the mixture up and go over your lawn again as long as you haven't exceeded the amount of weed killer for your size lawn. If you have to put seven, if your lawn's 50, 50 square meters and you make sure you put 75 mil of weed killer down, it doesn't matter if you put that 75 mil in with a thousand liters of water or 10 liters of water or 100 liters of water, as long as the whole amount is used up across the lawn. In 100 litres of water, you have to walk across the lawn lots and lots and lots and lots of times. Getting it exactly right for the exact size of lawn is down to your own walking pace, your own flow rate, and the actual nozzle which you are using. But I don't want to get into that too heavily, like I've said, because it, there's calculations and formulas you have to go through to come out when you're working out the exact amount of product to use. Thankfully, we don't need to know the exact amounts because they tell you on the box. In professional products, they tell you how much to put down per hectare, which is 10,000 square metres. So it's a different sort of kettle of fish. So yeah, 50 square metres, 75 mil of product, and they're saying in 5 litres would be enough to cover a 50 square metre lawn. Well, as you can see, I've got just over a litre left in the, uh, in the sprayer. As you can see down there keep spraying this over the lawn until it's gone and then to rinse it what we do we put a little bit of water on the inside and then we go to an area which will drain well for example some pebbles in an area where there's no wildlife it's not near any water sources and you spray out the remaining water and weed killer that's in there and then you do it again with fresh water and then again with fresh water you can fill it up and give it a swish and empty that but it does say to rinse out three times okay and then you know it's clean ready for the next product so the next product we're going to be using in this is the liquid seaweed so I want to talk about um, when you finish spraying your weed killer. I've just gone over the lawn again with the bit that I've got left and actually just come and did a few weeds around the edge and some other weeds at the top of the garden there. And literally all we're doing is filling it up. Well, I'll show you. Let me show you what we're doing. As you're going to have a mixture in here that's got water and weed killer in and also in the pipework and out to the lance and out through the nozzle so again I should be wearing PPE I'm not shame on me I should be wearing gloves Nothing wrong in stopping you from doing this multiple times. So if you give a bit of a shake, I like to do that once or twice just to wash out any chemical that's at the top. If you've got, um, like I say, you can spray this back onto the lawn because it's now a much weaker solution. Um, or if you've got an area which is like a soak away pebbles things like that 
so you can just tip this out but the correct procedure is to make just enough for the area that you're using This time, I'm going to spray. So, I'm literally just putting it on my back, pumping up. Wherever that's gone. Oh right, okay. It appears to have gone full circle on me. It's because of the pressure in there. Just squeeze out some of that pressure. Okay. And then we should be able to get this to come round. There we go. It went a bit uh, funny, the handle went funny. Anyway, so we've got some water in, a bit of a pump and a spread. So that was one lot of water and you just repeat putting bits of water in okay so you know that you've cleaned it out and whatever weed killer in there is so minute it's not going to do any damage whatsoever because you've rinsed it three times. So we'll pump up, a bit of a shake. So this will be 99% water coming out now. You need to do that two or three times really. Three times is the, uh, the recommendation. It's called triple rinsing. So you pass water through the system three times. Okay. So we're now done with the weed killer application. We've set up the sprayer. So I've showed you how to apply weed killer. So in the next video, we're gonna be applying seaweed and I'm going to show you how to use the fertilizer what we've put down as well right thanks for watching as i said just remember it's the amount of weed killer which you are putting onto your size of lawn so remember it's 15 mil per 10 square meters let's say mine is 80 square meters so we want eight 
times 15 which is 80 plus 40 which is 120 mil of product so what I actually put on was quite a weak solution of weed killer so we'll see how it goes um, I'm not worried because I think I sprayed this about four weeks ago anyway with commercial weed killer but even so it will still have an effect it may just take some time to come through and do that so I'm going to finish off spraying this across the lawn and then I'll put some water in spray the water out and you could actually spray the water onto the lawn once the weed killer's dry so then you just like applying rainwater onto the lawn and then you can rinse that two or three times and then you are ready to reuse it again for the next product right thanks for watching